This is two four inch telescopes. One is the Maxatov ATX 105, and this is the Skywatcher Heritage 114. So they're almost four inch. Found it that is difficult with this to find the target. So when I use this, because it has a bigger field of view, I can focus and find the target with this. Then that will be naturally on the field of view. The target will be there also. So this is the best way to find the worst together. <coughs> On this telescope, I'm using the Teleview Panoptic 24 millimeter, 68 degrees. And on this one, I'm using the uh, Sterling uh, Plus or 25 millimeter, which is really fully darkened and gives a really nice view. It's generally known as a sterling, but that's the name written on it. That mirror needs cleaning. I cleaned this one, I just unscrewed the top meniscus and cleaned it and this one and this cleaning you can see fungi is growing on it they don't affect the view much but uh, it's, it's, uh, aesthetically it's not very beautiful and this is the m42 nebula great orion nebula and you can see it's one of the sharpest view i've ever seen with this nebula beautiful the photograph shows more color than the real. This is the TMB planetary 6mm eyepiece. I'm surprised it looks very similar to Radian. And the view is excellent through this. I'm looking at the core of the M42 nebula at the trapezium. Clear, sharp, pinpoint. And this is the Skywatcher Heritage 114. Astrophotography is like a lame duck for showing the details because it's usually overexposed. You have to do exposure of, of for many, many seconds. Sometimes you can capture it if you are lucky, like this one, which I did. But most of the time, overexposed images doesn't show the details you can see without naked eye or unaided eye or without photography.